The final thing I want to show you is how to convert uh, raw files to a file format that is usable in GIMP. If you're already uh, working with JPEGs or uh, a file format that uh, GIMP understands, then obviously you don't have to do this. But if you shoot uh, raw, then you will need to convert your uh, raw files because GIMP cannot natively open uh, raw images. The way I do it is by using a fantastic open source uh, program uh, known as XNView uh, MP. It uh, actually is a free program if you use it for personal use. Uh, if you use it in a company, you have to pay for it, you have to license it. But uh, since we're all using it uh, for personal use, it's uh, free and it doesn't uh, have any ads or um, any m malware or anything like that. It is uh, a pure, uh, unadulterated uh, program that uh, does a number of things, but the thing that I do with it more than anything else is just to convert uh, raw to um, other file formats like uh, JPEG or TIFF. So when we open up XNViewMP, we basically get um, two windows. Uh, this window here shows us all the file folders on our computer, and this window shows us the images that are located in uh, the file fo folder that we're uh, at. So right now I'm in a file folder by the name of Guildwood Park uh, with uh, a number of different images and um, these images are uh, raw files. Uh, they were taken with uh, my Canon uh, 5D Mark II so I can't really open these files with, uh, with GIMP. Uh, However, after converting them using this program, I'll be able to open them uh, without any problems. So uh, what you need to do is um, choose the files that you want to convert. Uh, the great thing about XNView is that it gives you a nice thumbnail, um, which allows you to choose the files that you want to convert. Uh, you press down the control key and choose whichever files you would like to convert to um, a file format that will be understood by by GIMP. So I'm going to go down. Okay, I want to convert these ones. And let's say uh, this as well. Uh, as you'll see, I have diff three different exposures here for each of the images because I was shooting uh, using the uh, bracketing mode on the camera. It's often a good idea to use bracketing. That way you're going to get uh, three different exposures uh, and one of the exposures is going to be just right and if you want to do HDR uh, you have to uh, use the bracketing uh, option. Okay, so I've chosen a few images here. Um, I haven't chosen all of them. I could if I want, but I chose the ones that I am going to work with. So once I've chosen the images, I go to the um, Tools options and down to Batch Convert. That'll open up a brand new window and here you can choose a number of different things. Uh, importantly, uh, you can choose where you, you're going to save the images. So uh, I'm going to just save them in a uh, folder inside my pictures folder by the name of Nick with GIMP. Okay, so I'm just going to select the folder. Uh, you can choose different formats to save as. If you want to save as TIFF, you can save as TIFF. Uh, you can save in all sorts of different formats. So I'm just going to choose JPEG here. 
um, as an example. You have uh, the settings option, so you can choose uh, best or not so so good. I mean, obviously, the farther up you push it, the bigger the file is going to be, uh, and the quality is also going to be better. You can uh, use a different subsampling factor. Um, I just use the best quality. Uh, so say OK. And once you're ready, you can convert your files. Now, the reason I like this program so much is because it converts the files really quickly. So let me show you. Hit the convert button, and uh, there it goes, converting them. And it's con converting them relatively quickly, uh, considering that we're talking about raw images here. OK. Um, we've got at least uh, 20 images. Actually, we have more than 20 images here that we're converting. And as you can see, it's, um, it's going pretty fast. Okay, so once it's finished, it uh, gives you a little warning, and uh, you know it's going to tell you that uh, we had 24 files. Um, it converted 24 files, so we have 24 new files in our folder. Uh, if we go to the folder where we put the images, Nick with GIMP, in our pictures folder, we can see. Uh, the files that we converted. There it is. Now that we have um, these JPEG files that were extracted from our uh, camera raw images, we can bring them into uh, GIMP and start working on them. So let's just open up GIMP here and uh, I'll show you that uh, it works really well. So we're going to go to uh, the file where we have the images. So Nick with GIMP. And there we go. We have uh, the images that we just uh, processed. OK, we can open it up. And we're ready to work on the image either in GIMP or if you want, just go to shell out and uh, start applying uh, the Nick modules of your choice. Uh, anyway, that's it. Um, now you should have no problems uh, at all working uh, with Nick in GIMP. Take care.